Hello and we're now in the Hyperion Hotel. This is just adjacent to the fair where, as you can see, there's uh, many other brands that are exhibiting. We're not going to check them all out, but let's see if we find a few interesting things. So Mark, we met you last year. You were starting this uh, new fresh brand. Can you explain us again, quite short, if it's possible, the particularity of uh, your watches and uh, the part that you've been through uh, since a year. Sure. sure. So we started off, we launched in 2018 during Basel. Uh, we're back again now. The, the, the USP of our brand is that it's not about timekeeping, but time itself. And it means that it's actually our, our watches are like a bank vault for your wrist, which protects your precious time. But you cannot manage or control the movement, but you can manage it by turning the position of the movement and turning the position of the dial. The result is that every watch looks different when you set the time. So we've got three new models, which are actually all pretty exciting. So the first one is the V1X in black steel, this one here. Um, so what we've done here is we took a new pass in terms of showing and displaying time. So we took like a, we gave our, our designer, Laura Obrazor, the freedom to go off and come back with a good idea, how we could incorporate um, uh, basically art in a mechanical, technical uh, timepiece. And the result is that he came up with the idea to use a paint splash, which on one side is, is quite chaotic, but still adds a functional aspect to it. So you can read the hours through the paint splash, which is pretty special. We also added his signature because art should be signed. And second, we believe that in the industry, the people behind, um, behind these beautiful art pieces are still not, not mentioned as much as they should be. That's why his name is on the, on the dial. Two other ones, um, both clients watches. One is the V1 Plus Titanium with an open case back. So the normal one is 100 grams. Here we're back to 70 grams for the whole watch, which is quite good for a watch with 401 components. With an open case back, and now we're working not only with uh, Urteil AG from Andrea Strehler, but also actually also with Mark Jenny, who designed the rotor for this new movement here. And, uh, but I think you went even lighter, right? We went even lighter. We went even lighter. We said because we're only making bespoke watches, we want to not only um, give the client the possibility to you to choose the signature, the colors, the, the leather, but actually even to, to design or to help us create a new composite for one watch. And what we've done is, as far as we know, the world's first carbon titanium composite case. So this is the one here, it's the, the V1 Plus CTI. CTI stands for carbon titanium, obviously. And it's, it's a huge, it's a real masterpiece. It took about 32 hours just to machine the, the, the case itself. And, and the result, if you look at the carbon and, and the titanium together, it just, it just makes it really pop. So it's a, it's a one-off piece, uh, which we've created specifically for one collector. Good. It's around 51 grams without the strap and without the pin buckle. Great. Well, I wish you to see you next year too. again. I'm looking forward to it, Mark. Good. Thanks a lot for being here. Particularity, as always with David, it's something special. So I have no hands. I just have one hand for the, let's say, uh, minutes and second. And afterward, the numbers are moving, going down and going up to explain the time. So that's the system and it's very soft, it's very easy and simple. And I thought it was something interesting by the presentation because you have so many possibilities in color and decoration and whatever. So we can make and give any aspect to this watch by putting in stones or things like that. And I think it's just funny and different, something new, very modern case because it's a, a, a pyramidal shape in a certain way with the, the other part is completely straight and it's quite modern. It's a 49 millimeters, very sporty. On the back you have this wheel and uh, it's our model from March. 2019. Basically, it was I uh, had the idea of two bucks with water hanging on a well. If it's up full, sell staying in balance without moving. You put one drop of water and suddenly it will move. And I kept that in mind and I say if I can find the solution to have just a touch to make things moving, it's going to be okay. So that's the reason why it never stops. It's always in movement. One is up the other one is down 
and maybe it's because I'm living in uh, Switzerland and it's, it's like skiing, you know, <laughs> the eggs going up and the other one going down. So I think I always say everything exists. You just have to look around you and to transform it. That's what happened with this watch. You're a young brand, but it's already your second participation here at Baselworld. Uh, explain us a little bit uh, the particularity of your watches. We are a new brand and we wanted to uh, pay a, a sort of ultimate homage to the driver's watch, so uh, with the inclined uh, display. And we use this three-dimensionality of the watch to uh, put all the case of the watch in a 3D, uh, 3D world. Uh, I have a background of car design and I wanted to, uh, to have this watch like uh, a moving shape, a moving object. Uh, and we wanted also to have the, the more wearable uh, watch uh, as possible and so we did a, a huge work to uh, imagine not just a, a, a movement and then a, a, a design watch and not also just a design watch and try to put the technique inside. It's really a forehand partitioned uh, with Sylvain Nourisson, my partner, uh, to make uh, um, a whole alchemy with the design and the techniques. Last year we were here with just a prototype and uh, now it's production pieces. We start production pieces uh, in, in last October and so we now in a sort of rhythm of production. Uh, we have some Asian market uh, target and uh, we will try also to put uh, during the year some new material to animate the, the collection.